please switch your mobile phone to silent during the concert. Thank you, and enjoy the concert. Hello everyone, hello and welcome to our special relaxed concert. Huge welcome to our friends from LSO Create, many of whom are with us in the audience today. Hello LSO Create. Yeah, let's give them a clap, why not? And hello to our network of schools across East London and hello to you wherever you're watching us on YouTube. Today's concert features two really wonderful performers. So we have Rebecca on cello. We have Sophia on the piano. And signing the concert for us, we have the wonderful Angie Newman. We also have live captioning, so if you're watching us on YouTube, you can turn on the captions by pressing the CC button at the bottom of the screen. And if you want to read our program notes, just go to our website, lso.co.uk, and you can do that on your phones, so long as you don't take a call or anything like that during the concert. And we have a special chill-out space downstairs. So if at any point you feel like you just need a break, a little bit of a relax, just go to any of the doors at the back and you'll be shown the right way to our chill-out space. I've been in there, it's very nice. So, today's concert features a lot of lovely music, some of which might be completely new to you. And it was put together by Rebecca and Sophia. So before I ask you about it, Rebecca, do you want to say hello to your friends from, from LSO Create? Hi, yes. Hello, Create. Hello, Beth. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Connor and Tom. It's really nice to see you all, especially those of you who I haven't seen since we were online in 2020. So the first time so, seeing them in person? Yeah. I haven't seen Beth for a really long time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so tell us about this music. Why did you choose these pieces? Right. Well, when, when it came to choosing this program, Sophia and I thought that it would be nice to play pieces by people that we know who are still alive. <laughs> so Sophia reminded me that we'd played a piece by Cheryl, who's sitting in the audience over there, um, <laughs> that we'd played a, a different piece by Cheryl a, a few years ago, which we recorded um, but that piece was much too difficult for me to play today. <laughs> so we chose another piece by Cheryl. And then I've got a friend who I've known for a very long time called Rachel, sitting in the middle there. Um, so I asked her if she'd written a piece for cello. And this is going to be the first time this piece has ever been heard in the world. Wow. Um, and then I'm going to hand over to Sophia for the next piece. So we had already a piece by Cheryl, a piece by Rachel, and Rebecca said to me, what else should we have in this programme that we're going to play for you today? And I thought, I spend a lot of time in Estonia because my partner is Estonian, and used to be next door to us, there lived a very old lady called Esther Maggie, and she was a composer. She died earlier this year. She was aged 94, I believe. Is that right, Rachel? And she lived literally next door to us in the Estonian forest. And she wrote beautiful pieces. So I thought, let's have a piece by Esther today. And then after that, we're going to play three pieces by Nadia Boulanger, who is a French composer. And um, we've played some of them here before, actually. You, one or two of you might remember them. And then to finish off, we're going to play a, pl a piece by Florence Price, which is called Adoration, and, and we'll send you home with a lovely smile. Amazing. So while they get ready to play the first piece, we do have, as we've mentioned, two of the composers 
with us today. So I'm going to ask the first one to come up and tell us all about her piece. Her name is Cheryl Francis Hode. Let's give her a welcome. So your piece is called Invocation. Tell us all about it. Hello, everybody. So my piece, it's a four-minute piece for cello and piano. It's, it's a very slow, um, hopefully beautiful melody that uses the whole range of the cello. So right from the bottom, like right to the very top. Um, this piece is originally from, a pe originally from a larger piece that I wrote for Piano Trio, which is violin, cello, and piano. So, but this movement was always just cello and piano. And it was inspired by a painting that I saw by a, um, a painter called Edvard Munch. And his, he's really famous for the painting The Scream, which I'm sure everybody's seen. But this piece is based on a painting called Melancholy. And it's a man looking out over a lake, um, and it's, it's quite a sad, a sad painting. And so this piece tries to get the mood of that. But in the series of paintings that I, that I went to see, which inspired me, there are, there are much more positive um, pictures as well. So hopefully in this piece you hear sadness, but you also hear hope and um, lots of other emotions. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I wrote this piece in 1999, so um, quite a long time ago now. Okay, so as you listen, imagine you're looking out of a window and imagine what you might be seeing. And also, I should just warn you, I'm sure Cheryl won't mind, that it does get quite intense and there are some quite heavy, loud piano chords. So just be a little bit prepared for that. So this is Invocation by Cheryl Francis Hode. <laughs>
what a beautiful, beautiful piece that was. Our next piece is by another composer who we're lucky to have with us today. She's called Rachel Stott. So let's welcome her to the stage. So Rachel, tell us about your piece. Hello, everyone. So as Cheryl's piece was inspired by a painting, my piece is one of a set of pieces that I wrote inspired by poems by a Finnish poet called Claes Anderson. And this particular poem is very short and very simple. It's four lines long, and Sophia is going to read it for you in a minute. The piece was written at a time when two people I knew lost somebody very close to them, in one case her husband and in the other case her sister. Both those people that they lost were very creative and remarkable people. And this was very much in my mind when I was writing the piece, which is in fact in a very private way dedicated to them. So I hope you enjoy listening and thank you to Rebecca and to Sophia for performing it. So this piece is a little bit sad. We're going to start by hearing the poem and then we'll hear the piece with the poem within it. There are some still moments and some silences. So what would be really special is if we can try and hold our applause until the very end. And if you're wondering, oh, well, how will I know when the ending is? Rebecca and Sophia are going to look at each other and smile at the end. And that's when we'll know that it's time to clap. And if you get it wrong and you clap at the wrong point, it doesn't matter doesn't matter at all but let's try and hold our applause till the very end so I really hope you enjoy this magical thinking by Rachel Stott magical thinking what we miss we never lose the one we loved we always miss we never lose the one we loved. The one we loved, we always love. What we miss The one we loved We always miss We never lose the one we loved. The one we loved
what we miss, we never lose. The one we loved, we always miss. We never lose. The one we loved. The one we loved. We always love. special, special piece that was. Amazing playing from Rebecca. And beautiful speaking from Sophia. And you were the first people in the world to hear that. How special is that? Really special. Thank you, Rachel. So next, we have a piece from Esther Maggie. Esther Maggie is now known as the grand old lady of Estonian music. But to Sophia, she was known as simply her neighbor, who happened to be a composer, a really good composer. This piece is called Cantus.
have three short pieces that we're going to hear back to back. They're from the French composer Nadia Boulanger. Now, Nadia is really, really famous for being a really, really good composition teacher. And she taught hundreds of incredibly famous male composers. Sadly, in 1914, she stopped composing herself. She stopped writing her own music because she thought she wasn't good enough. When you hear this piece or these three pieces, I'm sure you'll disagree with her because these three pieces are wonderful. And I wish that she'd carried on composing. Although I'm pretty pleased that she trained all those other composers too because they're pretty good as well. So the first one of these three is very dreamy. The middle one is quite folksy, like a folk song. And the third one is quirky and is a bit like a dance. So we've got three pieces from the really great Nadia Boulanger.
are nearly at the end of our concert. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. But we have got one final piece, and it's a great one. And before I tell you about it, I just need to say some quick thank yous. So I would love to thank Rebecca and Sophia for their wonderful playing. I would love us all to thank once again our two living composers here with us today, Cheryl and Rachel, for their amazing music. Can we all thank the wonderful Angie for signing our concert for us so beautifully? And a final thank you to all the people behind the scenes that maybe you haven't seen today and you haven't met for keeping these concerts going and keeping us safe. So can we thank everybody behind the scenes? So our Friday lunchtime concerts are taking a festive break now and St Luke's turns into a nightclub of all things. I'm not lying, it really does. Um, and we'll be back in January, and you can find out details of our concerts if you go to our website. It might not be there quite yet, but it'll be there really soon. That's lso.co.uk. So our last piece is from Florence Price. And Florence Price was an absolute pioneer. She was the first black female composer to have a major work performed by a major symphony orchestra. And she ended up writing four major symphonies, an absolute pioneer. This piece is called Adoration, and it's from the end of her life. And she's sort of looking back a bit because it sounds quite similar to the spirituals that she would have sung as a young girl when she was growing up in the Deep South. This is gorgeous. And I suggest that you close your eyes and just allow yourself to drift away because I promise you, you'll leave here in a lovely mood after you've heard this piece. So this is Florence Price, Adoration. Enjoy. Rachel, um, before I play it, can I just say a big thank you to you? <laughs> <laughs>